It says, I've heard that in one of your videos saying that making dua after fault prayer is an innovation. This is not an accurate statement. Unfortunately, many times people hear things and they understand what they want to understand and what sticks in their minds is what they want to understand. I always pray fard in the masjid, alhamdulillah. One day after fard, I was going to buy a car. And I remembered after finishing the fard. So I raised my hands, praised Allah, offered salutation upon the Prophet and made dua, Oh Allah, make me successful in my endeavor. Is this a bid'ah? No. The bid'ah is to maintain regularly making dua after your fard prayer or after your sunnah prayer. So every single fard, like we see the vast majority of our brothers from the subcontinent and from Egypt and from Syria and from all over the world almost. After fard prayer, some of them do this. I don't know, maybe it's a fly. Some of them wipe their face and bodies. I don't know why, but they do it. They saw someone doing it and it looked hip, it looked cool, so they're doing it. Did the Prophet do this, Hassan? No. No, 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 we, we have never heard anything of, like that. Did the companions do it? Did the tabi'in do it? Did the tabi'in tabi do it? They all say no. So why are you guys doing it? Well, there's no harm in doing it. Come on, guys, you are innovating in the religion. Doing this after every fard prayer is an innovation. Now, Sayyid, I'm asking you. You said, if I pray alone and I raise my hands and make dua. If you do it once in a blue moon, no problem. But between you and me, nobody's listening, inshallah. Why do you want to do dua after fart prayer? Simple qu answer. Straight question, simple answer. Answer, I want Allah to respond. Good answer. When does Allah respond most? After finishing the prayer when it's all over? Or during sujood in the prayer itself? Or before concluding the prayer with Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullah, Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullah, definitely in sujood and after salutation before the salam to conclude the salah. This is what the Prophet said, Alayhi Wasallam. Again, between you and me, this is private, nobody's listening, inshallah. Do you think that the, that the Prophet, Alayhi Wasallam, would advise you of doing something which is less which is not answered by Allah Azza wa Jal, A'udhu Billah. Only a heretic or a lunatic would say such a thing. Definitely the Prophet would advise you the best advice. So, logically, if you're a man of intellect, if you want Allah Azza wa Jal to answer your dua, make it in sujood, in salah, or make it before salam, in salah. Now, if you insist, he said, no, 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 no. I'm going to do it after salah and I'm going to raise my hands, and it's going to be every fart prayer. How, what, what, how, why would I care? Do whatever you want. I can lead a horse to water. The horse would walk behind me for 10 miles without complaining. When we get to the water, if I get 10 men to help me and assist me to make and force the horse to drink, it won't drink. You're not a horse, so inshallah, Allah will guide your heart.